Hey folks, Adam Dukes here. Welcome to this brand new video series. It's going to be 25 videos over the course of the next six or so weeks on how to build sales funnels, how to set up lead magnets, how to set up landing pages, how to sell digital products, how to sell memberships, subscriptions, creating your own affiliate program, hosting videos, all within one single tool, one simple tool, I should say, system.io. It's a tool that I've been using for the last several months and I absolutely love it for a few reasons. It's simple to use, it's very affordable, and they have fantastic customer support. And I've used all the funnel builders on the market and by far this is the simplest one to use and without a doubt, the best customer service as well. So like I said, if you're interested in this video series on how to leverage this tool in your business to earn more money, to work more efficiently, to work less, but still earn more, make sure you subscribe down below. Click that little bell notification because it'll alert you of every time I release a new video in this training series. Also, if you'd like to check out system.io, it's a 100% free account. It's not a free trial. It's a free account. Check out the link down below, adamdukes.com forward slash S-Y-S. You'll get access to just about $600 in bonuses that I'm giving you completely for free if you sign up for system today. So if you're interested in that, check it out down below, adamdukes.com forward slash S-Y-S. Last week, I surveyed my email list asking if they had a product for sale. And sadly, about 50% of people said they didn't have a product for sale. Now, obviously, 50% said that they did have a product for sale on the internet, which is a good thing. But the other 50% that didn't have a product for sale, business is about uh, selling a product or, or a good or service in exchange for some money. If you don't have a product for sale, it's very hard to make money on the internet, with the exception of affiliate marketing, where you could recommend another company's product, service, or software and they certainly could be doing that. But having a product for sale is very powerful and it's a better than affiliate marketing. I talk about this a lot on the channel. Affiliate marketing, you're putting all your eggs in the basket. You have no control and that's very, very scary. So I recommend doing both, doing a little bit of affiliate marketing, but also having your own product or service to sell. And so I was kind of surprised by that. Uh, like I said, I was saddened by half the people that didn't have a product for sale. Uh, I would guesstimate these people are playing business. They're not really serious about starting a business or getting into business if they don't have a product for sale. Uh, I recommend digital products, obviously, for a number of reasons. There's no shipping, there's no inventory. They're in, 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 you could sell a million copies or you could sell one copies. It's gonna be the same cost to you. The margins are very, very, very high on digital products, 95% plus. And you can sell eBooks, paid workshops, audio trainings, video recordings, a mini course. Now I don't recommend a full on online course, not when you're getting started. There's way too much complexities with an online course, uh, but an eBook is a great one. And I reference it as an eBook because that's what everyone knows it as. But recently I came up with the term nano book. And what a nano book is, is a 10 to 25 page guide or eBook helping a specific person solve a specific problem. We're not solving world hunger with our ebook. It's a very, very short guide helping a specific person with a specific problem. For example, let's say you grew to zero to 10,000 followers on TikTok in 30 days. You could document the process of what you went through and how you grew that following from zero to 10,000 followers on TikTok. And you could sell it to people who would be interested in that. People who are brand new to TikTok, people who are considering TikTok or thinking about joining TikTok who would like to grow a following, those would be the type of people that would buy that ebook or that would be interested in that ebook, I should say. If they're not on TikTok or have no interest in it, they wouldn't be interested in it. That's not the market. So that's, again, that's what a nano book is. It's a 10 to 25 page guide or ebook helping a specific person solve a specific problem. You might be wondering what topic could I write about for my nano book? And here's a couple of ideas. What's a problem that you've solved for yourself in the past? Uh, and what challenge have you conquered? What obstacle have you overcome? What skill are you good at? And you don't have to be the best of the best at this skill. It's just, are you good at a certain skill? A couple of weeks ago, I did a video uh, right up here outlining or showcasing three different gentlemen who started businesses. A couple of them are side hustles. Uh, the first guy started a business teaching people how to use Google Sheets. It's like the Microsoft Excel alternative with Google. And he uh, is earning $4,000 a month just helping people. And he's not the best Google Sheets guy. He's just pretty he's just pretty good at it and so he's teaching other people how to do it the other two guys are they specialize in helping people with Microsoft Excel and one of them's earning ten thousand dollars a month and another one's earning thirty five thousand dollars a month helping people with Microsoft Excel they have trainings and programs and courses and all kinds of different digital products but they are selling their knowledge and none of these three were experts at any of these software when they first got started they saw a gap in the market and they started putting out free content. 
They started building up an audience, and then they started uh, they expanded on it, and they started making full on trainings and started selling it. So that's an, an idea. Again, you don't have to be the expert. You don't have to be the best and the best at whatever it is you do. And I remind you of this quote: uh, "How to defeat imposter syndrome." And I got it from Sean D'Souza, so it's not my quote, but you just have to be a third grader teaching a second grader, meaning you just have to be one step ahead of the person that you're teaching. You don't have to be the best of the best. I'm not the best of the best at marketing, but I still get on here and do two YouTubes each and every week for the last, I think it's about 20 months now. I'm one step ahead of a lot of the people that I'm teaching. I could be 10 steps ahead. I could be 327 steps ahead as well, but you just have to be one step ahead. So never forget that. Uh, another question to ask yourself, what do your friends and family ask you for help with? Do they come to you for whatever topic it is. Uh, what do you post on social media? Maybe you can look through your past tweets or Facebook posts or Instagram posts. Maybe you see a theme. Wow, I talk about hiking a lot. Wow, I talk about parenting a lot. Wow, I talk about cooking a lot. Wow, I talk about how organized I am. Wow, I talk about such and such. Are people asking questions? Are they commenting? Oh, you do such a good job with X, Y, Z, or how do you make this casserole or whatever it is? That could be an idea of an ebook that you could write about. Uh, next one is what do you enjoy talking about? Kind of with the social media, you know, what do you, where do you spend your time online uh, on the nights, on the weekends, during the day, lunch break, uh, when your boss isn't looking? Where do you spend your time? What type of websites are you searching? What type of people are you following on social media? What are they talking about? Yeah, I follow a lot of fitness people, probably because you're in, interested in fitness or cooking or cleaning or golfing or hiking or cycling or whatever it is. There's these interests that you have that you might be overlooking, but there's something that you could teach other people. Next one is check out Facebook groups, or are you involved in some Facebook groups? Are you active in some Facebook groups? I promise you, whatever you have an interest in or even a little passion, there is a group, there's a Facebook group for it. There's a Facebook group for just about anything. And if there's a group of people around a specific topic, there's, that means there's attention. Attention means that there's money to be made. So those are all different ideas of how you can sit down and write an ebook. If you want some help with that and a little added accountability, I'm actually doing a, a live workshop next Tuesday, August 31st. You can check out the link down below, adamdukes.com forward slash challenge, where I'm helping you write, publish, and profit from selling your first or next ebook. And if you write and publish your ebook within 48 hours of our workshop, I will be your first customer. So there's an incentive there where I will become your first customer if you write and publish your ebook within 48 hours. So if you're interested, check it out down below, adamdukes.com forward slash challenge. So now that you've written your ebook, you're like, well, who's gonna buy the damn thing? You're gonna leverage your social media. You're gonna start posting about it. You're gonna start talking about it. You're gonna share uh, some of the struggles. And again, if you're already talking about this specific topic, there's people that follow you for a reason. Whatever social media platform it is, there's people that follow you for a reason, and they're probably interested in that specific topic. And some of them are gonna to wanna to know more about it. Maybe you could, if you have an email list, obviously you can email your email list. Maybe start reaching out to people on DMs. Maybe you've DM'd people over the last several weeks or months or possibly even years about specific specific topics and talked about specific topics, you could reach out and say, hey, I know we talked two months ago about helping your kids eat fruits and vegetables or vegetables at the dinner table. I just put together an ebook. I've got it nailed down where I got my six and seven year old. They're eating, uh, they're eating three helpings of vegetables at the dinner table. I got an ebook. I'm selling it for seven bucks. Here's the link to it if you want to purchase that. It's as simple as that. Once you sell a couple of eBooks, now what you're gonna to wanna to do is reach out to these customers, whether it's one customer, whether it's three customers, whether it's five customers, whether it's 10 or more customers, you wanna start reaching out to them and ask them for some honest feedback. Ask them what they liked about the eBook, ask them what they didn't like about the eBook, ask them if you were unclear about anything within the eBook and get their honest feedback. And then what you can do, the beauty of a digital product, you can go back and edit your ebook. You can make changes to it. You can update it. You can upgrade it. Now all of a sudden you have ebook version 2.0. Now it's better. Now it might command a little bit higher price instead of seven to ten dollars. Now you're selling it for seventeen or nineteen ninety five. You certainly could do that. And as you're talking to these people, you know, as you email them reaching out, ask them for a testimonial. Hey what'd you what'd you think about it? Just give me your honest feedback. Could I use this for a testimonial? And then then you can use those testimonials and put them on your sales page or your checkout page and then it's going to warrant that 17 or 20 dollar price increase if you wanted to increase the price rinse and repeat this process as many times you get another group of customers they're going to give you more feedback and you're going to release version 3.0 and 4.0 and 5.0 now all of a sudden you're selling an ebook for maybe 37 47 dollars i got buddies that sell ebooks for 47 up to 97 dollars just a simple little ebook it didn't start off that way it started off as $7. 
and they did the process that I just outlined. They made it better. They got feedback. They made it better. They upgraded it, they updated it. Now all of a sudden they're on version 17 and they're selling an ebook for $97 and it's selling very, very well. So you can model that exact framework. So, and that doesn't matter with just ebooks. You do that with paid workshops. You do that with webinars, audio trainings, online courses, mini courses, video recordings, whatever type of digital product you're selling, you want to reach out to your customers and ask them for their honest feedback. Don't get butt hurt about it. Let them know, hey, this ain't going to hurt my feelings. Feelings, you know, a lot of people are concerned about that. Ask for their honest feedback. 2.0, 3.0, 4.0. That's how you create a digital product. So again, I like eBooks, but you can do that with any product. And with System.io, like I said, you can get started on the free account, or you can upgrade to the $27 a month account. Completely up to you. But you can create your sales page, you can create your checkout page, and you can deliver the eBook all within System.io. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know what you think about the training. And make sure you subscribe down to the channel and click that little bell notification. Because like I said, I got. 24 more videos of training videos of not just how to use this software, but how to use it in your business. And I'm going to be giving tips and tricks on marketing, email automation, email marketing, building funnels, all types of stuff. So make sure you hit subscribe down below and then sign up for your free account with system.io, adamdukes.com forward slash SYS. Like I said, you get access to $598 worth of bonuses that's no cost to you. They're completely free. It'll give you instructions on what you need to do on that page down below, adamdukes.com forward slash S-Y-S. Looking forward to putting out to this training series, hoping it helps you grow your business quickly.